hacker, I'm a hacker, I'm a hacker in your hard drive. Hundred thousand dollar Tessa rip it through your hard drive. Oh Jesus, pull the cord. See that what you standing for? Buckle up, let's not pull up and tell my heart and bring a sword. Swoosh, I'm a candle. I'm a candle. Chop my neck a million times, I still burn bright and stand up. Vigil in the middle of your occupied location. What that from the haters? What that from the Haitians? I'm a candle. I'm a candle. Chop my neck a million times, I still burn bright and stand up. Standing in the middle of your synagogue and chapel. Licking that forbidden food through bitten, blowing apples. Batteries in China. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life, electric word life, it means forever, that's a mighty long time, I mean to tell you, there's nothing else. Even death is a part of life. Even death is a part of life. Uh, you know, when I, when I think about days like this, my head just, just thinks about U.S. imperialism as like the gift that keeps on giving and taking, you know, innocent lives. And from there, you know, stirring the pot that, uh, propels others to do the same. Religion has always been used by those who are hungry for power, particularly men. I mean, we can go on and on and on about a day like today. For this Writer's Bend tradition, we invited the groundbreaking poet, actor, and musician, Saul Williams, presenting his new concept album, Marta Luther King. Yeah, retreat, subtract, delete the beat Until you're told Don't breathe, don't move, don't, don't Hold it, roll up With my North Dakota Barefoot, brown dirt Foot stomp, hand clap, groundwork When I speak, I speak as a human being, you know? I speak because I have a voice and a perspective. I speak uh, because I feel compelled to, not because, of, not because I'm a poet or because I'm an artist or any of those things. It's true that in my art, I use a lot of present day and, and uh, social issues and commentary and what have you and my art has a lot of that stuff in it because that is sort of the palette that I pull from. I like to pull from somewhat obvious sources and maybe come up with not so obvious responses. Yeah. It's, it's no different than, uh, you know, Warhol taking a, a everyday can of soup and saying I'm going to make a piece of art with something that you see every day in the supermarket. Due to the extraordinary events of this day, Kane the Poet was unable to appear and was replaced by Seiku, who was joined by Koba Prusmans for an improvised Kohoots collaboration. My name is Seiku Ologam. I, uh, I'm here and try to replace uh, Kane Poet together with Koba right here. I'm Koba and I'm a drummer, percussionist, arranger. I'm very happy we're still going to do it um, because there's, as everybody knows, there was a kind of uh, event today that blown us away so we're gonna take that energy and just gonna make a conversation on stage I 
I got the blues, zuster ik voel, een pijnlijk verband, maar ik zwijg als een grap. When we think of people like the last poets, including, you know, uh, Galen Kane or Philippe, those who are still identifying as, as last poets, uh, all of those artists that came out of the black arts movement and the black power movement, I find uh, truly inspiring. It's not necessarily what led me to do what I did, but once I started, they let me know that I was doing the right thing, you know, and, and from there they fed me. I grew up a hip hop head. Part of what led me to do what I do is, is so much of it comes from hip hop. And so what I found early on was that rappers were consistently coming up to me like, yo, I hear you. It's, it's also inspiring as an artist when you think you're doing something fresh or new to realize Oh wow, it's been done before. History tries its best to keep us kneeling. We have come standing in a field of bankers dumb, extinguishing the fires of the young. Should have listened with the sirens run. Because we found them dancing on the graves of the ones who had renowned them, and they couldn't give a fuck the bear. Premise of this album is a uh, well, it's a concept album that's that's based around a story that I've been writing for a graphic novel actually um, about a hacker and a camp of of hackers um, that that live in Burundi. Try to put their stamp on the virtual world and, and do sort of like a hacking as performance art sort of thing, um, which is cool while it lasts until they hack into the wrong thing that gets them labeled as, as a, a threat to, to homeland security and to the intelligence and, and, and they're labeled as terrorists. And so essentially um, the story is a way for me to talk about everything um, that's happening today, from you know transparency to whistleblowing to technology, what our tech world is dependent on, the resources that they're dependent on, don't grow from computers, and computers do not grow from trees. There are things that have to be mined, and the places where those things are mined are often the same places where rubber, cotton, sugar, oil um, and other minerals and the history of how those things were mined and how the miners were treated um, are closely related to how things that you know we're dependent on now in our tech world how that exists today you won't be silenced no the most came from you your never-ending war will not be waged from you. The future is my home, it all came from here. Police and sirens, guns are on parade right here. You never touch my love.